couple of you have mentioned exercise actually. And while I am not in a position in the context of this program to suggest, recommend, prescribe any type of thing like that, I just want to provide you some information today about how our bodies can really benefit from a specific type of movement. So again, I'm going to use nature as my best teacher here for this. And what we see in nature is this really acute fight or flight response, the stress response. And in humans, we don't say see the same acute type of response. And what I mean is, if we see, say, an you know, an, a lion chasing a gazelle, both of those animals' bodies are in fight or flight. They're in, well, the poor gazelle is trying to flee, and the lion is trying to catch him. He's also fleeing in a sense. After the sprinting of that pursuit, and let's say that the gazelle escapes, hooray gazelle, the, and you'll see this in your animals at home too, that after a stressful situation, they shake it off. So not only have they had that run, but now they have this physical kind of like <sighs> release. That is what I mean by acute. Their systems go up. They have the, the kind of extra energy based activity. And then their systems come back down to relaxation, back down to baseline. And we as humans are not great at doing that. Instead, we have this sort of chronic elevated mode of being in that kind of fight or flight or freeze or faint are other ways that people might respond to that. This is the sympathetic nervous system. The opposite, rest and digest and heal and sex is the parasympathetic nervous system. This is like a light switch. We can either be in sympathetic mode, fight or flight, or we can be in parasympathetic, calm, rested, resting, digesting. So something that we can take from nature to help us combat chronic stress is actually treat it like an acute stress and have some sort of physical release, physical discharge. And I don't mean like, like liquid discharge. <laughs> I mean like the discharging of the energy that comes when we go into uh, fight or flight mode. So sprinting can be a really valuable way of shaking off stress and anxiety. And when I say sprinting, I mean 30 to 60 seconds of heightened activity. So depending on your physical abilities, that could look like actually sprinting. It could look like some jumping jacks. It could look like burpees or squat jumps if you're up to that type of physical thing. Again, not making any recommendations here. Just providing some information. And I would suggest 30 to 60 seconds of max out intense effort to train the nervous system that, oh, I've just done something to combat the stress. Now I can relax. So that's what I wanted to mention that I forgot to do on our call today. So in this video post, I've put a link to an article that I wrote on my blog a few years back about this very topic. So if you wanted to read a little bit more about that, you can. So with that, I'm going to sign off for the day. I wish you all a really good sleep and I look forward to connecting with you guys soon. Okay, take care. Bye.